here is uh, the, what is this? Is this the five? Yeah, this is the five. And uh, Judge Janine is very upset about these Chinese balloons. Child tax credits. Child I will. I, you know what? I'm, I'm going to time myself and see how long I can last listening to him. Uh, first of all, 62 percent of Americans think that Joe Biden hasn't accomplished very much. So, you know, you can have, uh, you know, Jessica, you can say X, Y and Z. And I really think the reason that he came through in the midterms that the, that the Democrats did, I think it was all about abortion, 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 abortion. And I don't think it was a testament to how great joe biden is the truth is pause it for one second um we're going to talk more about uh that 62 percent who don't think that biden has done anything which um uh, you know i think they've got to be aware of the white house and we're going to see a a speech that is tailored towards touting some of those things some of which are good some of which didn't uh you know certainly a lot of promises unkept uh some promises kept um the problem that would Piro has here is that that abortion thing, as she calls it, that's not going away. No. In fact, you know, it's just going to get worse uh, every day going forward. So, um, and now it's inexplicable. It, it's completely tied to the the Republicans' branding as well, which is doubt. one of extremism, of chaos, and of being, you know, far right theocrats. So, like, it's not just the abortion thing; it's the entire party. In one issue, basically. And and at the end of the day, like, who cares about Joe Biden as a person as much as I'm going to vote for the people who are going to try and restore uh, uh, the first individual right taken away by the Supreme Court in the history of this country, probably. Uh, but an individual right that existed in this country for 60 years. But- in, in, in fact, though, just on that point really quickly, his boringness almost acts as a nullifier for all of their crazy. Like they, he is not a, 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 a sponge who's able to absorb the conspiracy theories and crazy. So they don't really ne- know how to attack him. But- right. It's just that people don't like you. They just don't want to have the fact that uh, their bodies are controlled by uh, some uh, creepy old guys percent of the country thinks we're on the wrong track. People can't afford food anymore. Uh, only 31 percent of the country thinks the man is competent. They think he's incompetent. And if you don't think this this so-called balloon, which is a euphemism for a Chinese spy craft, if you don't think that impacts Americans in a very unusual way, we're not yeah. used to them being over our land this is the homeland this is america they're now (laughs) buying millions of acres near these intercontinental ballistic missile sites so that they can what grow corn and then have an impact on our food supply it's not what we think it is i really believe that you know (laughs) americans recognize inflation isn't transitory uh that he surrendered to the taliban and that all of the bad stuff if they can at least bring it out in terms of the fentanyl crisis the southern border what's going on in the air and the border you know they don't want uh, as someone said this they don't want cheap talking points they want something that reflects who they are as americans and how they can survive in the next few years I I wish that we could have heard the inner monologues of all those people sitting around the table with her. Like, wait, what? Wait, well, hold on. China. uh, Wait, okay. Uh, First of all, inflation. Yeah, the the Chinese know how to grow corn now. To the the extent that I could sort of parse out what she's saying there, inflationary inflation has been transitory. Actually, Um, we got a good clip of of Jared Bernstein uh, in a minute, but uh, inflation has been waning. Um, and this is a problem for them. Like what the, the reason why we played that up front is because Piero is sort of like hodgepodge of like, like the balloon is actually real for me. Are you like the most real aspect of that balloon for people would be like, Oh my God, kids come out here check out that balloon. It's so cool. Yeah. Right. <laughs> That's about it. It's like seeing a blimp or something or it's UFO. Exciting. It's exciting. <laughs> Um, but the idea that there's actually genuine concern amongst Americans about this Chinese b- uh, balloon is just absurd. And she's got to dance around with all these different things. I mean, this is part of the problem the Republicans have. They're going to go out there. They've got Kevin McCarthy going out there trying to drum up like some type of angst over 
the federal debt and their debt ceiling crashing. And it's just not working for them anymore because they abandoned that in about three hot seconds when it came uh, uh, back in the day. Donald Trump has th that whole sort of deficit debt hysteria. Donald Trump has said, don't touch Medicare and Social Security, which are really, everybody knows there's two places where there's money. This government basically does two things. Provides social insurance, not enough in my estimation, but provides social insurance, old age, and, uh, 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 and essentially like, catastrophic um uh, 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 uh poverty insurance and then has a massive military yeah and you got to cut from one of those two places much harder to cut social security and medicare because uh, of what people say hard to cut d uh, defense spending because of what corporations say and there's just not enough wokeness in the military to find that money i uh polite disagreement i think there's far uh the, more than enough wokeness for us to cut please come on if you're looking to cut the woke stuff it's going to be tough i think if you're looking to cut like the massive uh the the just the massive uh redundancy in our military like you know we could just have the biggest military in the world if we wanted and we could cut about half yeah of our military budget tomorrow Aren't we maybe the a little bit more four times over exactly yeah i think we could <laughs> cut no no we're bigger than the entire rest of the world combined and if we cut half of our budget tomorrow we would still have the biggest military budget out there. I'm just saying that there's wokeness hiding under every corner, every nook and cranny within the military, and it's, subte it's subtext. You have to try to find it um, to cut it. Did she also say that fentanyl prices were too high, or did I mishear that? I, I, she's just, she's... Uh, she, I, she just got... She, she was, moves so quickly, I couldn't figure out you what know, she She's saying. just reading a word cloud, it looks like, uh, from that uh, Fox sends out. Yeah.